the final race of the season and it will be the decision of the 2017 UIM F2 World Championship, the Grand Prix of Portugal. 18 boats will enter the race on this 1.7 km race course on River Douro. Portuguese pilot Duarte Benevente will enter this Grand Prix in front of his home fans from pole position. But right behind him on second spot, the reigning world champion Pierre London, who is on his way to his third title in a row, if the Swede can make up his 12-point leeway against points leader Rashid al Kamzi, who only starts from ninth position. But both, of course, won this 2017 gold medal. I try to push hard in the race. I need to win this race. I want to finish the top three to finish the championship. I'm going for the win. The boats lined up on the start. Red lights turned off and the boats are on their way to the first turn. London with an awesome start, but also Benavente is right there and can stay in front of London after the start. But London knows that he needs the race win to have a realistic chance of winning the championship. If London wins here, Alkamzi needs to be fourth at least to get the title. And after starting only ninth, Alkamzi after two laps already made it up to fifth position. But then Tobias Mintekar stopped after turn 3 with a broken prop shaft. Full course yellow and yet another chance for Pierre London to get that race lead at the restart. All boats are on the main... <laughs> straight again. Green flag is up and the race is on again, but Benavente could keep his lead and still is in front of Pierre London. But there trouble for Oscar Samuelson and Nelson Morin, who came too close in turn 3, but both can continue the race. Out front, still Duarte Benevente who seems to can control the race now and London pushes as hard as he can but can't really find an answer. But then Rashida Kamsi tries to make a move on Alberto Comparato who is in fourth spot, both side by side into turn three but Comparato on the inside can stay in front. Again. If Alkamzi makes it onto this fourth position, he would be world champion even if London wins here in Portugal. And then it was Ferdinand Sandbergen who was sitting on third spot who got problems from a broken reed. First it was Comparato who passed Sandbergen for third and shortly after Alkamzi who passed the Mad Croc pilot for fourth. So now the title was in Alkamzi's hands if he can bring this fourth position home. Out front Benevente had to go through traffic of lap boats and London saw his chance coming. London could close the gap to Benevente but never was close enough to try a move to get into the lead. But Alkamzi now had to start fighting real hard for his fourth spot when Nelson Morin came closer and closer and gave the Abu Dhabi pilot a really hard time towards the end of this Grand Prix. But the most intense fight for positions was for 8th, 9th and 10th spot between Ola Patterson, Edgaras Ryabko and Hector Lopez. Almost till the finish line, these three tried and pushed at almost every turn. At the end, it was Ola Patterson who won this triple fight and saved this 8th place in front of Ryabko and Lopez. Into the final lap of the race, it was Pierre London who still tried everything for the race win and pushed as hard as he could, but it didn't pay off at the end. The winner of the Portuguese Grand Prix was Duarte Benevente and second Pierre London. Pierre is a great driver and one of the best drivers in the world for uh, inshore powerboat racing. So uh, it's never easy and of course it's hard to keep him behind. But um, 
I think it was a fair race. Uh, he pushed me sometimes, especially when I was uh, when I uh, I arrived behind some uh, drivers that I need to to lap. Um, and that's all. I mean, it's normal. Races are like that. Uh, sometimes you lose a little bit, sometimes you gain, but winning is always always good. I never was so close to, to Duarte, so I could do a really uh, aggressive attack. So no, yeah. and uh, sometimes you need to have luck with uh, with uh, the lap drivers. And uh, the race was fun, and uh, Duarte did a good job um, out there today. And uh, yeah. But uh, second place, is, it's okay. With Pierre Lundin finishing second, it was sure that the 2017 UIM F2 world champion was Abu Dhabi pilot Rashid Al Kamzi. Yeah, I am uh, so happy for uh, this result because uh, they cancelled the Q3. I was very sad, but my team uh, tell me no problem. You can do it in the race, and they do it in the race for finish uh, the championship. Third on the podium of the Grand Prix of Portugal was Alberto Comparato, who after a year of struggling finally is back on track. And also with this podium ends the Formula 2 career of two-time world champion Pierre London. Is it the final race? <laughs> yeah, yes I think so now. This, uh, is the final. Well, as you know, we, we didn't uh, show up at the first race, and that's uh, because we, we weren't thinking of racing, but um, then we changed our mind when the boat still was in our place, so... Uh, and then uh, the first race was cancelled due to weather, and then uh, we went to Tonsberg just to to show the boat again uh, and we won and then okay we can do campeona and then that cancels so. <laughs> And Portugal, we, we wanted to go down to Portugal, we, we remember from last year it was really nice to be here. So, a new star rises in Formula 2 with Rashid al Kamzi, the first ever world champion from the UAE. Next year the boat in Abu Dhabi colors will carry the number one. And al Kamzi is already focused on 2018. I'll have a new boat uh, next year, more faster than this, and I'm coming back for the championship next year. Wow! <laughs>